people. You just wasted a whole minute and a half of my life with something that I, didn't make a lick of sense. Dude, schmuck, you have nothing to live for anyways. Dude. Actually, Your you've been wasting the time. last 10 minutes. I've been sitting here silently trying Your to get time this is going. So, <laughs> Your time is so invaluable. You have nothing to fucking waste, dude. You have Your nothing to live for, nothing up. to do. Your time should be up, dude. You fucking suck. But, all right, let's get started. What are we doing? No, dude, you don't. You don't, you don't earn the right to say that. I, yeah, I, now I'll that, say it. Now that Jared's ready. Now that Jared's ready. Oh yeah. Now that now that everybody's done wasting your time, right. Jared. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing here? Can we shut the fuck up and figure out what we're talking about on this damn podcast? I've been waiting forever for fuck's sakes. God damn it, Schmuckler! You waste all this time. Holy Nobody fuck! Said I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start going again if we don't start this. Three, three, two, two, one. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, welcome to Sports Are Pain podcast, and this is uh, an emergency episode we got going on this week uh, with all the, the fucking NFL news breaking. The NFL's in fucking shambles right now. Uh, this is terrible with, with everything going on and we wanted to just get our quick thoughts in there about it be a quick 10 15 minute video and uh try and figure out what the hell's going on out of here uh but yes yeah, so we'll talk into like the big news fucking aaron aaron Rodgers and the, the green bay packers so uh, you guys can lead this discussion mm-hmm. a little bit i've done a little research on it i don't know what ton as have i um, it's kind of i yeah. like from the the information is kind of conflicting from what I've heard from Schmuck, kind of conflicts with the stuff I've found, unless I'm just right. misinterpreting it. So I don't well, know. Well, well, I'll I'll go last, and then I'll try and clear up from what I understand from Lafleur, and then you know some research that I've done. So I'll let you guys kick okay. it off. And then... I, do you want? I can... you want me to explain it, or do you want to explain it, Jared? I can go. I can go first, quick. Just I like like this. I mean, obviously, the situation is the fact that he's unvaccinated. He got COVID. Um, like he tested positive for it, but like the biggest thing that I, from what I gathered, the NFL is investigating right now. Like they said, he wears, he wore a mask like around the facility and around other players. The biggest thing is like the Halloween party, obviously, and then the fact that he, like, even though like, look, because Lazard's not vaccinated either, but they uh, made Halloween him do Zoom calls. Doesn't, doesn't matter unless there was more than fifteen people there, which I know is like, which, was, but... yeah, because it was like most of the team posted <laughs> from it, but like. Mm-hmm. I like the biggest thing is like the the interviews because like obviously like that's like they said it was like workplace like misconduct because of the fact that they didn't notify any of the reporters exactly. that he wasn't vaccinated and they didn't make him wear a mask and so I think that's like the big Correct. thing right now and obviously they're investigating yeah. if he was actually wearing a mask around the facility but the big thing is the the inter like the interviews and the Halloween party from what I got yeah that's that's kind of how I interpret it Lafleur even said in his press conference he wouldn't state. He went, He said, uh, "I'm not going to tell you. Uh, I'm not going to get into who's vaccinated on the coaching staff or any players." But mm-hmm. he said everything's recorded around the facility. He says we follow all the protocols, and I'm sure the NFL will look into it. And then they did announce they were going to. So, the main thing, like you said, it was workplace misconduct with the through media members because he doesn't wear mm-hmm. it during media, and then the Halloween party. Right. So, yeah, but he didn't dope at the Halloween said, party, so it kind of cancels out. He did. Yeah, I think right. they should just just negate the can- the Halloween party thing because of how fucking cool his costume was and how long he worked on growing the hair out for it. But the thing is, and, like, I don't know. I'm indifferent on it because I think, like, obviously players should have the choice, and, like, like they do, and it's, like, you just get, some like, subjected to, rig- like, more rigorous testing, obviously, if you're not vaccinated. So, like, it is kind of shitty, but at the same time, like – when you look at the media, he's so far away from the closest media member. Like they literally have him set up differently now because of COVID. In anyways, even if you are vaccinated, well, not even ju- it's it's well, not even just Rogers that, that does it though. It's like correct. It's Kirk Cousins it's that does it. It's Harrison Smith. Like all yeah, these but, other fucking that, players. But that's that not the point. The point either. is is that right. The media members for those other teams were notified that hey, this guy is not vaccinated, so you have the choice to attend the meeting or not. Well. Okay, See, right. Like, and I, I don't know. I that, do under I do understand but, that, but the, the thing about it is, I don't know how yeah, the media would have been would have been notified because the NFL and the NFL like the NFL knew that he wasn't vaccinated. And yeah, the yeah, right. but, but, that's but, that's where this gets so, confusing. But is, the that's thing what is, I don't is that the it, the 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 team and the coaching staff 
and anyone does not have to list any of the player's medical uh, information uh, on, like as long as it doesn't relate to their roster status. Mm-hmm. So the only time they have to report something about the player involving their medical information is if Aaron Rodgers has a, a sprained ankle or whatever. That, okay. and, and they only have to report on the sprained ankle. Um, so they don't have to report and, their status at the beginning of the year. Correct. They have to report it I, to the league, but the league does not have right. to announce, and the team does right. not have That's to announce. That's what I was going to say. Who the league does, does know. But, yes, but they, but they have are not, to notify, not obligated to know. But if they're going to be in a room with the, someone who's unvaccinated, they have to notify the people who are going to be, like outside people. So if the media come in, or outside doctors, or, or whatever media, you know, if Phil Sims right. and and whatever come in to do their their you know media interviews with the staff they they are required to inform them that hey just so you know if you want to talk to Aaron Rodgers in person you have to sign off here being like hey right. he's not he's not vaccinated so he has a higher chance of getting covid you know and contracting mm-hmm. covid just so you know and if so, you're not giving people that option i mean that that's a massive work like what, right. is that, i mean you're, is that a fact that and so they weren't? okay is it like a fact I, that I, he's not I'm, vaccinated? No, 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 no. Is it a is it a fact that they didn't say anything? Correct. To no, I that guess. is a fact. That right. is so I, okay. I, so what I'm what I'm gathering from this is that the fucking Packers front office is just another fuck up by them, right? Like because well, they're the I ones that should notify. People. I don't think there's, this there's, is a lot Rogers, of office. Rogers issues. is okay. Like, but it, I mean, like, uh, who I, like it's people it's people not like here. right. Roger and Rogers should be at partial blame. Rogers himself for sure. Um, I mean, like, I guess, like, I'll wait till like we get all the facts, just well, based off like, if he it, knew that they weren't telling him. Fault? How was it his fault if the team wasn't notifying the other motherfuckers about it? I don't get it. Well, like, right, at, I don't. At, that's not necessarily his job. That's, yeah, yeah, but, but, at, the, that's but at the end of the day, with as much hubbub, like I'm in fucking 1843. What's all the hubbub here? Um, it's enough of uh that's going on around like the NFL and the the world with vaccinations and how divisive mm-hmm. of a topic it is and, and how serious some people take it. You would think, I mean, he, he very, very clearly withheld the information about him not being vaccinated because he was asked right. about it multiple times. So that's the thing is he never openly said that he was vaccinated. He, well, I mean, mm-hmm. he, well, when he was asked, he said, he said he, he didn't say he was vaccinated. He said he was. Yeah, he did what kind of fuck up. Like, no, no, he's he immunized. He yes, immunized. Which means, yeah, good. which means he got yeah. immune boosters, which is a hundred percent not different. the same thing. Yes. Not well, even right. And he went lie. to the NFL. He, didn't he went to the NFL to see if they would accept. Right, he didn't. He's not in the wrong, he, but he answered I, the no, question. He, I, 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 mean, I, did, question but, I mean, I kind of. I understand how kind of lie. It is kind of a lie. I understand how it's misleading, but it's not a lie. It's definitely misleading, but it's not a lie. What, what no, do you mean? Yeah. Because him being amused doesn't have anything with have to do with him being vaccinated. That's two totally different things. Right, him, but him that's not his boosters. fault that people didn't understand that. Like so when I watched, I watched that is a hundred percent his fault. It is no one else. He never fault said if he was own. or not. He just said he was immunized. Which is, I mean, which like is, the thing it, is, like which is he, misleading. He could have yeah, said, right. he could have said, but I'm saying, no, no. But he chose to say it that way. He could have, he could have just said. I'm not getting into that. No, no, it's 100% yeah, misleading, but it's not a lie. There's, it's, it's 100% misleading, absolutely. And he, you're right. He did distinctly no, no, say it, it that it way to dodge the question. question. If he, right. The yeah, question exactly, is just because he didn't answer exactly what I'm. Right. He didn't no. answer the question whether or not he was vaccinated. He simply said he was immunized. Like, he yes, was not answering the question, did, which that implies that. Okay. that you got vaccinated. Right. Yeah, well, I guess that's it depends like, if you understand. I, I definitely like, think no. It's it's a hundred percent misleading because like yeah, the thing is, is if he, like, because the, the thing is yeah, and he's the thing is, it's not a lie. For deciding but to but use that terminology knowingly. Right. Mor- morally that's not a, like that's not okay. Because like yes, I like Trevor said, like the thing is like okay. the question was, Are you vaccinated? And he said he said he's immunized. Which like if you're just looking at it, like you're not looking, like if you're just looking at it at the surface, that sounds like he was vaccinated. Like that's what you're going to take it as. So it's like a hundred percent. He had like, he should have had a moral obligation to either say he didn't want to answer the question or maybe. Well, I was going to say, no, he but did, don't yes. say that. But he didn't have to say, he doesn't have to say shit. 
as long yeah, as no, he, yes. right. He doesn't. Lead. He doesn't have to. Like, no, that's the thing. He doesn't have to so do anything. I don't like, I'm not why saying it's such a big deal. Actually, like, I'm no, not. Actually, saying, his yeah, exact quote is lied. when they asked him if he had been, if he had been vaccinated, he said, "Yeah, I've been." You, oh my god, I can't pronounce the word. So he straight up said, nice. "Yeah." So he straight up <laughs> uh, implied that he had been vaccinated. Aaron, you said you like to learn as many things as you can and hang in any conversation. Are you vaccinated and what's your stance on, on vaccinations? Yeah, I've been immunized. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of conversation around it, around the league, and a lot of guys who have made statements and have made statements, owners who made statements. Um, you know, there's guys on the team that haven't been vaccinated. Uh, I think it's a personal decision. I'm not going to judge those guys. Um, there's guys who have been vaccinated if contracted COVID. Um, so it's, it's an interesting issue that I think we're going to see played out the entire season. He said, yeah, which there's a huge difference between being vaccinated and getting immune. And there's a difference between, I don't know if they, I don't know. I don't know if. Like because so it is a straight I, I up lie. Like it's a, it, it right. is, it just, it's a lie. It's, it's simply now, false. Here's the other thing with that though. He did try and go to the NFL at some point and try and get that approved as a vaccination. And yeah. it. I don't know if that media fight was taken before he tried to get it approved. You know what I'm saying? Well, it, so I don't know that, if they had already. Right, he should have that That's point. neither here nor there. Yeah. I don't, the I don't, question I don't is, are, true. were you vaccinized? There is no, there's no, whether the NFL, even if the NFL approved that, it's not a vaccination. It's not Pfizer. It's not J&J. It's not Moderna. It's none of those. Those are the three options plus whatever the fuck Europe's got going on that you can get, right? And the question is, did you get one of those three that are FDA emergency approved? Right. And he said, yes. Well, if. And kind of danced around it to give him an out. The, the way 100%. that you started that, the way that you started that, didn't really. I mean, if it would have been approved, that would have been a, a lot different. Because well, no, no, it by okay, the league standard, the, yeah, the, 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 it's the a whole, context, yeah, it's a the whole. Con, no, 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 the context would have been different of what was going on, and the circumstances would have been different. But it doesn't change the question because even if it was approved, they didn't say like, Correct. "Have you gotten? But have was, you gotten treatments yeah. for COVID?" That's not what they asked. Or have you taken precautions for COVID? That's not what they're asking. They Their specific question was, did you get vaccinated? And he said, yeah. And even if he got immune boosters, that's not being vaccinated. Like, I, I'm just saying he's just as at fault as anyone else. Am I saying he should get suspended? No. Am I saying he should get fined? Yeah, probably. Which is, I'm guessing, what's going to happen. He's going to get fined probably yeah. a lot of money. Cause he's gonna it was, get it was a, every... it's a 15 it's a... It's a fifteen thousand dollar fine per media um, interview that he did, plus like the Halloween party, whatever they figure that out yeah. to be. So he's right. gonna get and he does a media board, interview. And the week. Packers are gonna be are gonna be probably out fine. a few draft picks. I don't know what. Well, do I don't that. think it'll be draft picks. I, I mean, I the mean, Packers are gonna be fined a good amount of money, and maybe right. they'll take. I mean, what for Deflate Gate? What did the Patriots lose their first round pick? I think right or second round. Was it even that? that? I, I, I think the only shitty thing I think the only shitty thing is is like if they decide to make an example here the, the Packers be the team to do it to and it sucks. That's my only shitty thing. It's like if they cuz like if they want to show that they're taking this seriously they're going to have to like which the NFL does this with things like they just like like yeah, they just, just take something yeah. Yeah, and yeah, they just and fucking overkill. kill you. Which, yes. Right. As far as the Which overkill goes, do. I think it all goes to if they were following protocol within the facility as yeah. far as masks Which, and social. If they were, then I don't think that they can do too much, but if they weren't yeah. then yeah, 100% I, mean, I, I feel and like that's, that's like the thing happen. is what a lot of people aren't like really quite understanding is the NFL made it so 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 difficult for unvaccinated players to like right. have their need to be tested operations. every day. Right. So let's yeah. say that like if Rogers wasn't being tested every day because of because of his Well he whatever, was though. What, that, was he? Yeah. That's the thing. I mean there's no say, report saying get... that he was or wasn't. That's what the investigation every was. Tuesday on the Pat McAfee show, that's what he talks about, how he has to go to the well, I think that's the whole team has to do that though. Like the, well, the no, players no, who aren't, right. aren't vaccinated have to do it like twice a day or something. I keep forgetting that they have those yeah. different rules. Okay. Yeah, so All players right, who now, here's Here's the only Which thing makes that, sense. is it that Matt LaFleur. Yeah. No, I get it. 
Matt LaFleur came out and said that they were he believed that they were 100% following protocols and that well, there was Schmuck, he knows what else is he going to say But I'm saying if he knew if he he knows that they're going to look at the videos if he knew that they weren't I don't think that he would come out and say that cuz that would look absolutely horrible Schmuck what else is you know he going to say right? he no. can't come out and not back his players even if it's a straight up lie I will say I will say I think he it looks way make, worse for him if he Like he was if, no, okay I will say ends up finding that Go ahead go ahead I will. I was just gonna say, like, I will say, like, I think he was pretty blatant about how he felt about it. I think, like, it, he would have been a lot more, like, he would have danced around the question more, and like, he just would have been a lot, like, trying to avoid the question more if he was, like, if it wasn't true. Yeah. I think he was just so blatant about it that I, like, I do feel like it, they were. I mean, like, and they then were following. You have it. to like take into consideration. I, I, I guess no. There would be, there would be no, no way. Again, like I, I said, it, it comes down to. Really, was Rodgers following all the protocols that a non-vaccinated player right. has to follow? If he was, there should be no problem. If he wasn't, if he right. was treated like a vaccinated player, then I have no fucking idea what's going to happen. Like, that's really, right. like, some legitimate where, like, I think actual suspensions could come would be if that's the case. Because I was going to mm-hmm. say, I'm like, well, you know, maybe it depends. Like, would LaFleur really get in trouble if, like, for instance, LaFleur was like, well, I had no idea. He told me he was vaccinated, right? And then they kind well, of the just, thing, not that they throw Rodgers under the bus, but, like, if they kind of say it was, like, a, a Rodgers thing and not, like, a them thing, that they were kind of deceived by him, then I would say but, Rodgers would be more, like, you know, he would be the one that would get the blunt of the punishment. But LaFleur clearly knew because it's not like, when they had to yeah, submit all the exactly. vaccinated paperwork, he didn't look at it. So he knew that Rogers wasn't vaccinated. So that's where it's like, it's going to come yeah, out. Yeah, he said he knows 100% who and who is not vaccinated. Correct. He's just not Correct. going to show that mate at uh, Which with I the think public. is perfectly fine. Have. I have no problem with that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, and the fact that he oh. was so forthcoming with saying that they followed protocols when he knew they were under review, that tells me that, to, honestly, he probably like felt like Rogers was being treated the way he should have been. With the exception yeah, of so the press conferences, probably. I just have a question. Like, what is everybody yeah. mad about? Well, I like, mean, it, I mean, it's, it's the fact that it's like, 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 like we said, like, it's, time, it's, I mean, it's, like, workplace, I don't, it's workplace mis- misconduct. Like, he was I mean, putting no, other no, no, people, no, no, like, no, no. Not, not the league, not the, like, what is everybody else? Well, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's like, that's a simple explanation for it is like workplace misconduct. Like, you're putting, other people who could be susceptible to dying from it at risk, and they have no idea. Yeah, like right. that's and that's more it's like they have no idea. On the team, more on the organization. All, from what I was understanding, this was he, everybody was mad because he because he may have lied. Like that, that's I mean, that's I a thought. major that's reason it. behind it. But like, why does it fucking matter to everybody else other than the people that are associated with the league in the room with him? Right. Yeah. If it doesn't, and right, I, yeah. I just. Right. I it, just it, think it, the biggest I mean, thing your parents I think the biggest is fucking real until you're so like, like I guess and, if you're talking about like I mean, the fans or whatever, I mean yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's just people It's thinking, really none of their business. That's just people like no. us thinking that their opinions matter online. Like that's that's just right. all that matters. Right. That that it is matters nothing. to the fifteen to twenty people that the reporters I, is really I, what I, I, I do yeah, I could care less what fucking Doug from Sheboygan, Wisconsin thinks about <laughs> Aaron Rodgers withholding his So I just I just needed to be like that I think is not here or there. We're not shit talking yeah. Aaron Rodgers right now. We're just well, like we should have just I mean I do think I, I I'm think not I'm excluding not, him. I'm not excluding him. I think he's a he's no. just as 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 much fault as anyone else involved well, in this. Well, right. It's. I mean, yeah. It's. Not I like, just. I think that facts, but but we're not we're not just talking. I think it down puts on. his like you know his I mean? moral, like his moral thought process into question a little bit. I mean, like regardless well, of how deadly you think but, the well, virus but is or is not. Mean, I mean, if some 25 year old reporter who doesn't know he's not vaccinated and Rodgers is asymptomatic and he goes after the game or he gets it from someone else at the game. He goes in the room with this reporter. He gives it to the reporter. The reporter's asymptomatic. I think we're jumping the gun because they haven't no, no, even, I'm, I mean, this, the, their investigation is right. going to be done. This is all, awesome. like I mean, it's, and a half. no, I, but I'm you know saying I mean? why I'm saying why like right. his moral, like his moral compass here is a little fucked up as, by not as of right now, but when, when it no, comes just back in, and no, it's not, not any, just as right now, just period. Because he, no, he chose he, to withhold that information from yeah from the what public, happens, and that's the and what that's, happens when like, what happens when the, I, when nothing was done wrong. 
No, there was already established something was done. Well, wrong. I'm just yeah, there, no, like there's no. already yeah. a moral. A the press moral... conference, the press conference thing is is already like he yeah, did like that's, that's already fact. Like, they know. So, but the thing is, like, I will say, like, obviously we're not involved with it, so we shouldn't care. But or, like, we don't need to care. But I do think, like, to a point, we should care just be like just because just because it doesn't involve us, like, you have to like you have to take into consideration other people. And, like, I do understand, like... Yeah, well, and that's what I was trying to say, is, like, you have to, like... Right. You have to think about, like, the ramifications. Well, like, it might entirely not even be his fault that he gets COVID or something like that. It might be some fucking asshole from the Cardinals that he got it from. And then, like I said, he gives it to fucking Joe Blow reporter who goes and gives it to his dad, and his fucking dad fucking keels over. (laughs) And I'm saying that's where, like, his... Like, like his moral compass is, like when they're asked if you're that like going to these meetings, knowing you're not vaccinated, that's where I'm saying. Like he he's at fault is like, Definitely. cause there's no one, there's still vaccinized players who don't do in-person press conferences. So yeah. correct. And most, I mean, well, yeah, I with the Packers, think, they all do, well, they all do the virtual shit too. So, well, I mean, no, no, I'm ones, saying around the yeah. league is what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm well, I know, but the, the their Packers way of doing that is they, yeah. Um, and, yeah. But see, that's what I don't get with the Packers organization is why does Alan Lazard do his over Zoom, but they let right. Rodgers do his yeah, in person? That's, that's where that's I feel it's a little thing. bit more on the organization saying because exactly. they're the they know. No, that's, and they that's, what, that's why I was saying. Yeah. Person, why they don't make him wear a mask? That's where I'm getting. Yeah. I would put almost more fault there than on Rodgers saying to a reporter that's asking, you know, what do you think of people that aren't vaccinated? And he says, you know, people are entirely the opinion. They go, well, are you vaccinated? And he says, well, I'm in, I'm immunized. Like, I put it more on the organization for, like, saying, hey, you have to put a mask on or you have to be over Zoom. So that's where right. I mean, well, that's Yeah. That's and what that's I what I was saying. Like, the fucking organization fucked up again. Like, they – like, they're, they're showing favoritism to a guy just – I mean, like, and Aaron Rodgers, obviously a guy of his stature – will get things that other players won't get, but this isn't like something that you should, like you do that with. Like you don't do that with people's health. I think that's just like a common sense thing that you don't gamble with that. And it's Maybe like right. he did it and on I purpose because he hates the media. I, I don't know, know who Rogers. I mean that could be true. I don't know he does who hate in the, the organization media. like it, I don't know who's responsible for stuff like that. Like who would be res- like well, I don't I mean, know who's in charge of COVID be, protocols. But I mean that would go up to like president President yeah. Murphy, and then it will go to your HR department, and then I was gonna your, say there's like, got to be somebody below Murphy that needs to watch like day to day activities. Though. Yeah, yeah. But so there's I also got to be. But you also have right, to think so. that Murphy's seeing this stuff, and like him and Gutekunst are seeing these interviews because Rogers talks directly about them sometimes, so they are seeing. Well, the that NFL sees him, and the NFL talk. knows that he wasn't. Right. So like it's and that's it's just a bit of that's, and that's one thing. Up. And that's so why and that's one thing where I think the Packers COVID when he's been when they knew exactly well, what its status was. Well that's the thing is well, like, I, I find it really weird. Like why have they not addressed this earlier? Right. Like, you, you're only caring that's now only that thing, he's yeah. like now. That's where I caught. think the Packers can contest this right, and exactly. say like you guys knew. So the I blame the NFL. Oh, why didn't you step in? No, right. I, I'm not saying there are a lot of people to blame. I'm, I'm like I'm saying, there's many different people to go around here. And oh like, no, yeah, you know, like, that's what like, I mean. Like people think this is just like that. People think that this is just because Rogers said I'm immunized one time that all this is happening. No, this is because of a lack of communication with like the NFL and the Green Bay the, Packers the organization. Entire, for the yeah, report. the whole everybody well, communication, involved. communication and discipline by the organization to let well, that, them do this exactly. And, not and the NFL like, discipline I mean, the Green Bay Packers. I mean, it starts right. with him knowing he's not vaccinated, knowing the rules, and him choosing vaccinated. not vaccinated. That's what I said, vaccinated. Yeah, vaccinated. Yeah, and he said it's vaccinated, not oh, vaccinated. My bad. Vaccinated. You're making this sound stupid. Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, so it goes from him not being vaccinated. And then him choosing not to wear a mask. Then it goes from the head coach to the front office to the HR person to the like the health staff on like in in the facility not enforcing him to wear a mask. Mm-hmm. So it goes to them. Then it goes to the NFL seeing this and let's not act right. Yep. There's there's let's not act right. like exactly. They, they don't have essentially not, not caring. watching this. Yeah, not like caring. how hard would it be? Like, even if you don't want to make a big deal about it, how hard would it be to call up? the Green Bay Packers and say, Hey man, like he's just got well, yeah, to wear a mask, you, you know, like you don't need to make right. And now that it's public, now they're going, Oh, cool. Cool. Look at us. We're going to do a full fledged investigation. We're going to get to the bottom of this okay, and see so what's this going sound, on. And they know the whole really time. fucking stupid. 
but like maybe he legitimately didn't know that he was doing something. And that's the thing. Know, like, you, that, there's not a, you there's can, not a chance. It, no, I think there's that no, a guy no, I mean, intelligent I, like, that I, knows exactly no, how to word things like if, that. If is, the Packers were letting him do this. No, dude, they See, have there's okay. so no, many, no, 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 no. There's so many will, things leading up to the NFL season that they do involving COVID and COVID training and uh, establishing the new protocol under like this era okay, of COVID. So there's not a chance. Aaron he, Rogers, but no, he Aaron Rogers told told the team to get fucked. He's gonna do what he wants. But okay, that's that. see that's that's the interesting thing is like we said like the NFL never stepped in and said anything. The Packers never stepped in and said anything. Like he could yeah. have legitimately had no idea because nobody stepped in and said anything to him. Like I'm not saying that Which that's they, what happened. That's very unlikely. In regards to, I'm saying there in is regards a to wearing a mask during press conferences, maybe because right. he had it around his neck. So like maybe he didn't know that he couldn't take it off to answer questions if he thought that like because they were so far apart maybe I, right. that'd be the I mean I'm not that. giving someone he's who's a, as smart a... as him that no that that's... benefit of the doubt he's he's way I, I would I would say fucking I, I I don't know fucking Carson Wentz or fucking Mike Mike White I, I, I would say maybe them right those fucking Klebs okay wow like but I like give them that benefit. But Aaron Rodgers, who's like a legitimate borderline genius with fo- like f- yeah. only, like photographic memory, I'm not giving him the benefit of like the oh See, well well he just didn't know we've only been wearing masks for almost two years now that we're out in public. See, I mean, you've, and yeah, like, he's been living. He spent his entire off season in a state that has never mm-hmm. not mandated masks. Right? Like, there's not but a here's chance the thing. he didn't know. That's all I'm saying. I don't think that. I don't think that he had to wear – I don't think anybody had to wear masks during press conferences last year before the vaccine. Well, they were they all – I don't ever, know. They did them all in, they online. All, they were, they all, were all on Zoom. Were like, all of them were? Correct, yes. All last last year, yeah, okay. all of them. But, okay. okay. Well, like what I will say, and this has like – this could like literally have nothing to do with the fact that like his like his intelligence and just more so to the fact – like the fact that like – like I said, nobody told him. Like he could have just assumed that's well, we okay because nobody that. went we up and – like, that no one told him. Okay, right, no, but that's what yeah, I'm saying. But that's what I'm that. saying. That's right, that's the thing. We possible. don't know. So that's why I'm saying it could not 100% be on him. Like, we don't know anything. I'm I, just saying I just, I, I think that there is a too chance. Many things, there's too many things lining up to just the way the NFL is running and treating COVID, like on how how he he played through the COVID year last year. I mean, he he's been in the facility. He knows how this works. I mean, he's clearly getting tested. Like, all the, like, for Christ's sake, for school, I had to do fucking, like, four or five, like, well, COVID training things. I'm sure and, the NFL required more. All right? Like, it's a billion-dollar industry. So, I just, I can't, really, I cannot say that there's also, really a chance that. But that's the that thing. That's, that's why that's I don't think argument. that they're going to suspend Aaron Rodgers for more than fucking one game. If they even suspend him this I, year. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. Think that I don't it's see so it unlikely suspended. that he gets suspended. Yeah, I, I think no, it'll just be a big fine. Well, I'm yes, saying like worst fine. case scenario. I'm thinking it'll be a well. Worst case scenario, he could like is him being suspended and I'm making an example of him, which what would probably uh, happen would they, be. Which here's what I don't happen. think the NFL would risk doing that. No, no, no here's no, what I'm they saying. They would lose I'm playing, so much money. I'm playing devil's advocate. Let's say the NFL goes, we're going to make an example of him to show that they can't fuck around. All right. What would happen is, is they let's say it's four games, right? Because that's isn't that what Ray Rice got for like beating his wife, right? Like four, mm-hmm. six beating games. the old lady, yeah. yeah really okay, or, or that's or Brady, yeah. So four games, right? Let's say four games. Okay, then what he'll do is he'll be like, well, that's fucking stupid. He'll appeal that. So then they'll kick that down the road. So then while he's in the appeal process, he won't set out any games, right? Because when well, you're appealing it, 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 that's just how it is. Right, yeah. So mm-hmm. then once it gets done with the appeal process, then maybe it gets down to two games, which usually when they take it to appeal, it always gets reduced. So they take it to appeal, then it gets down to two games, and then it's like, well, is it going to happen in the postseason? Is it going to happen next year when he's on a different team? Is it going to happen, you know, that's that's like what comes there, which did you just, I, Did you just try to start opening up a whole – extra can of worms here no i mean i'm just telling you facts anyway so uh um i think i think what what are you trying to get into oh nothing nothing anyway i think we've i think we've covered most of this i just think like that's that's we'll see we'll see as it goes on and we'll talk about it more as it goes on but i just think like go ahead i think we should Uh, talk about uh the jordan love in this game though 
I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for him as far as like this is the chance that he needs where there's no pressure because Rodgers isn't out for the year. You know he's coming back. So if he mm-hmm. does horrible, like it's he like he doesn't need to be out there the rest of the year just under fire. Okay. So I, mean, I think here's, I, mean, yeah. I I don't know. Nope. Like there's this this can go this is either going to go really, really good for Aaron. Or this is right. going to go a, a, a really, really good for Aaron and horrible for the front office. Or it is Which going I to go will. really bad for <laughs> no, Aaron. No, yeah, I, I thought about this at work. Too. And it's going right. to be well, really bad for Aaron, yeah. and it's going mm-hmm. to make the front office look really good. Look good. Which is the shitty thing is, is like, if he looks good, like we said, like Rodgers is back after this game. So every, all that's going to be in everybody's mind if he looks good is like, oh, fuck, we have a backup plan after this year. And the organization yeah. will be thinking that the right. entire time, no, too. That's, yeah. that's Which is a problem like, well, because it's understand. also against a terrible defense. Like, this, so he, this game can 100% be like a, Matt Fl- like a Matt Flynn game where the front office mm-hmm. sees this and they just go, look, see, I told you so. I told you so. We don't need to keep him around and have our balls in a vice with him. So Right, exactly. It gives Seaman them... brought up how bad of the defense the Chiefs have, so yeah. that helps him too, so and the it, Chiefs are struggling. Shitty. So if he balls and out, they're... I mean, you can almost guarantee that he gets moved at the end of this year. Like, I'm I'm, I'm, willing to bet. I, but, I would bet a okay. very large amount of Sorry, money if is, he plays I'm... well. Okay, so... If, but if they win the Super Bowl. Real ball. quick, this is what we were just talking about, I guess. So, the Packers knew Aaron Rodgers wasn't vaccinated. But nobody stepped right. in to correct the record when he said that he. Well, they didn't have like, to. What he said. Yeah. Now, they're not obligated to do that, but I see where you're going right. with this. You, okay, exactly. Oh, definitely. What is the uh, what's the medical the medical thing? You know, what I'm talking about. Uh, I do know what you're talking about. Like it's the not medical about, rules it's... between doctors and patients, right? Yeah. Uh, what the hell? It's something weird, but yeah, yeah we'll go. With I think that right now. I just so said basically. Wait, what was it? What? HIPAA. Yeah, Antifa. HIPAA. That's what I said. Yeah. Holy yes. fuck. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, sorry. Uh, I want Jordan Love to rip, or not rip. I want him to have a very similar game to what Aaron Rodgers had last week. That's Yeah, let's make our. Just enough. Let's say, like, just let's say what we want to happen. happen. Let's say we want okay, to happen. I'll let you guys go and then I'll go. Okay. Uh, we already know what you're going to say. What? What I, yeah, I know what you're going to say. You don't even need to say it. What I want to say or what I want to happen, and I mean maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. We don't need to debate this right now. But I want Jordan Love throws no touchdowns, no interceptions. And Matt Patrick Mahomes, which could happen, throws one or two picks, maybe a fumble. One of them is maybe a pick six. The Packers win like – or A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones each get a touchdown and the Packers win like 21-20 to 20 or something stupid like that. That's what I want to happen. Because then the front office looks stupid, but the Packers look somewhat competent to the point where Rodgers maybe wants to stay because they have a not terrible roster. I think that's unrealistic. Why? What about that is unrealistic? The, 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 the leading the league in interceptions, Mahomes throwing two picks, or them winning on, so so, with no, one I of the better running back goals in the league? That you're, like, wait, you said that Jordan Love, what, how many turnovers did you say he was going to have? None. I didn't say he had any. I said no touchdowns, no interceptions. I think oh, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess that would be fine. But I, I think that's pretty realistic game. considering. If he doesn't throw any touchdowns, I don't see them winning this game. I mean. Jordan Love, they, that is. They just, I don't know. I think there's a chance that they do without with how many I'm turnovers. Excited. Has. I'm, I'm excited to watch this game. I might go home and watch I want the boys. Green, Green Bay to lose this game by 25. I want the front office to get absolutely exposed for the years of ignorance and the lack of aggressiveness in free agency so, and near the trade deadline, well, the lack of commitment to Rodgers, and for putting so much on one guy so want, that I want it to be – I do want them to lose because I think that will be the best thing for this organization. You, you, okay. That would, like, I was, almost ruin the season. I, no, it would. It would be one uh, game against an AFC team. I'm just saying, it would it, – it, it would de- – because if they lose that game and then they lose to the Rams, they're, they're, they're getting, the, the, they're getting I don't, the last – I don't believe that they're getting the one seed anyways. No, I don't believe that with or without Rodgers. So I don't think okay. that's even on the team. So I'm not worried about that. I'm going to say right now, 
I hate the front office as much as the next guy. I think they fucked this team for how many years with two of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. They are in And they've gotten the way with I it. said that multiple times. And they you have. can't keep getting and away what I will with say, this. But what I will say. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was a breaking okay. bad reference. What I will say is Jordan Love, like you said before, like you, you said earlier today, Schmuckler, a bad game for Jordan Love would be no touchdowns, no interceptions. He doesn't like, and say he doesn't like look competent. Maybe he completes a few passes to Devontae that Devontae takes downfield for 20 or 30 yards, but they're just five to 10, like five yard outs or a screen or something like that. Like, I think that can happen. And I think, like, I think that's the best of both worlds. I think the Packers can win this game still. I have nothing against Jordan Love. You know, he didn't ask to be drafted by the Packers. Like, they draft him. It's whatever. Uh, But I'm saying you're kind of. Okay, you don't finish. I don't. I don't want him to be the starter in Green Bay in the near future. That's what I want. Oh, I, okay. He could be fine okay. someplace well, else. Put I'm, it that I, way. Right. Yeah. I also think that this is going to give them a really good indicator on how good their defense really is without having Aaron Rodgers on the other side of the ball. Correct. Because just because of, he never turns the ball over, so when you get one or two on the defensive side, you you automatically steal two possessions. But if mm-hmm. you get one, you pick off Mahomes once and Jordan Love turns it over three times. Yeah, well, like that's I mean, a different he does story. nothing Not even just with that. those turnovers. Not e- exactly. Like, or, I mean, if we're going exactly. three and out after a fucking yeah. break on the, like, I on just, the, and on I just, the 40-yard line. Like, I just want to say I think LaFleur is going to call a pretty conservative game. So I don't think Jordan Love will have a ton of opportunities to throw very similar to what they, what they did against Arizona, well, like just running the fuck out of the football, like taking up the time. I don't know. But I think Which the Chiefs know that, do. and they're not going to let him do that. They're going to make him throw them. No, if the Chiefs, if the Chiefs are smart, they're going to stack the box. They're going to just send people screaming through, blitz him, and make him throw with guys in his face. That's what they mm-hmm. should do because he's turning the phone. They're going to pick him off three times. Here, here's but I also, here's I also saying, know how right? bad this Chiefs defense is. The Chiefs D coordinator, uh, was well, it, it's a uh, fucking who is it? It's um like. Sp- Kits McGee, I don't know his name. Is this Span Spangio? Yeah, or Spangio. Is it, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. He loves to blitz. Okay, he loves yeah. to blitz. They just got Marvin Ingram, who's still a pretty good defensive end. Melvin, Melvin, Melvin. Melvin, Melvin my bad, Melvin. Melvin. Mark Ingram. They still have Chandler uh, Jones. <laughs> yeah, or not? Uh, is it Ch- no? Uh, well, it's uh, oh, okay. yeah, whatever the fuck the D tackle. Um, yeah, and then I think they have D. Def- and that's not D Ford, it's the other one. I forget his name. But it's Puna. No, not Puna. Um Frank way, their D line's not that bad, and the Packers O line is not yeah. great. And it's Steve Spagnola, and he loves to blitz. All right. I think he's going to bring people, he's going to bring often, and he's going to make the Packers do everything they can to make LaFleur have to throw the ball. And mm-hmm. Right. That's if they're smart, like any I mean, then that's the thing, like I right. think any you know, do that any coordinator knows this. And and here's if and, we can yeah, talk right. about this. And, and here, here's the thing: is Jordan Love is in a, a lose lose situation here because if he struggles, the narrative is going to be like, oh my god. Uh, like like from a media standpoint, like oh my god, oh my look god. at on how un- un- like incompetent he is and how unprepared he is. They wasted a first round right. draft pick on him. Blah blah blah. Right. That's and if he balls out, they're going to be like, well, no shit. You played against one of the worst defenses in the NFL with one <laughs> exactly. of the best with one of the best head coaches but, in the NFL. And that, but that the organization will be Arizona. sucking him off. Though, exactly, that. That's, exactly. That was yeah, the worst part about the Arizona game. Is like if the Packers lose, um, like oh yeah, like no shit. Like it's it's a Cardinals against it's undefeated Cardinals against a fucking Hell <laughs> Green team. Bay Packers team. And then if yeah. they, if the Packers won, oh well, the Arizona Cardinals. We're so overrated, anyways. We all knew this. Like, you gotta know. I mean, here's, here's see, I thought it was a lose like, for the Cardinals. Like, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, if, if Jordan Love is in that game that Rogers was in, they, that's a fucking thirty-eight to zero game. game. Like, the, absolutely, they did everything. They're they couldn't that's line the up thing. without Rogers. Right. And oh, that, that's the oh, thing is, like, right. if you yeah, have, yeah, 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 yeah. If that happens, I, I don't know. Maybe Jordan Love comes out and he's prepared and he plays well. Who knows? But we'll have our answers to that question coming up. Well, All I'm saying is I, I I really hope Rogers does not get suspended or is not out for the Rams Packers game. That's I do right. not, That's all I and care about. After that, I don't really give a fuck. Well, what happens? Yeah. And that's the way the I mean news if goes. the Jets I mean if the or if the Giants almost pulled it off, I think the Packers would be fine. Alrighty. 
with that. Yup. Good job, Trevor. Uh huh. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>